Hello student, in this video we have the question of LPP linear programming problem which you are going to observe in part E for 6 marks. So the question is solve the problem graphically, minimize and maximize the subject to the constant z equal to 3x plus 9y and x plus 3y less than equal to 60, x plus y greater than equal to 10, x is less than equal to y, 3 equations are given and x is greater than equal to 0, y is greater than equal to 0. So first we will solve this equation, consider this equation as the first one x plus 3y is equal to 60, I will call this number equation number 1 and second one x plus y is equal to 10, the third equation is x when we shift this side it will become x minus y or x equal to y x is less than equal to y right so x is equal to y number 2 and 3 okay so first we'll solve this equation when we have the value of x equal to 0 in this equation we'll get the value of y so as we substitute the value of x as 0 the value of y will become 3y is equal to 60 and y equal to 60 divided by 3 that is 3 1s are 3 2s are 6 when x is 0, y will get 20. When we will substitute the value of y as 0, then the value of x will get. When y is equal to 0, then the value of this position will become 0, 3 into 0, 0. Then x is equal to 60 directly will get. Okay. So we will write here, I will consider x. When x is 0, the value will get for y is 20. And when our y is 0, the value of x we got 60. Similarly, we will solve the second equation. x plus y is equal to 10. Here, if I will take x value 0, then y will become 10. x, when we can substitute here 0, y will become 10. Then, if y is equal to 0, if y equal to 0, then the value of x will become 10. So, for this equation, the value of x and y will get 0, 10 and 10 and 0. When x is 0, y is 10. Y, when we substitute 0, the value of x we are getting 0. Okay. And for the third equation, which is x is equal to y, when x is equal to y, the same value we are getting. If I will take x is equal to 0, then y will also become 0. If I will take x is equal to 10, y also become 10. If x is equal to 20, then y will also become 20. x is 20, then y is also equal to 20. So, the values of x and y, same value as we are getting, x is 0, then y is 0. x when we will consider 10, y is also we are getting 10. Similarly, same when we are increasing number, same number we are getting because x is equal to y. On this basis, now we have to draw the graph. To draw the graph, we have to consider x and y axis. So let's consider this is our x axis and y axis and x axis. In this axis, the biggest value we got here 60 and all numbers are positive. So 0, 10 to 60 number on x axis we have to consider 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50, 60. Similarly in y axis also we will take the same numbers. Now draw the graph for first equation. The first equation x plus 3y equal to 60. When we have the coordinate of x is 0 then we got the value of y as 20. And remember on x axis y coordinates are 0, on y axis x coordinates are 0. So when y, the value of y is 20 then x is 0. Here we will get the point. For the second one when y is 0 the value of x is 60. Here we will get the another point. When we join both the line, the line for first equation will get, this is the line for the equation 3x x plus 3y equal to 60. For the second equation, when x is 0, y is 10. x is 0, y is 10. And when y is 0, x is 10. 
on y axis join both the points okay so this equation is for the second line x plus y is equal to 10 for the third equation we have the same values x is 0 y 0 it is from we will get this point in origin and when x is 10 y we are getting 10 means here 10 and 10 when x value is 20 then y value we are getting 20 x and y both coordinates are same so join this when we join these values in this way we got the line for the equation x is equal to y okay now we have to shade the visible region from the graph we have to find the feasible region for that we have to check whether the equation satisfy the condition passes through the origin or not we have to check okay so the first equation given equation is x plus 3y x plus 3y less than equal to 60 when I, this line passes through the origin we will get 0 plus 0 less than equal to 60 0 is less than 60 yes it is satisfied the condition so on origin side for this equation it is first equation x plus 3y is equal to 60 to 20 origin side we have to shade in the downstair i will shade this part and this part for the first equation okay for the second equation x plus y greater than equal to 0 x plus y 0 plus 0 greater than equal to 10 0 is not greater than equal to 10 so this is not true hence we have to share the other part of the equation here is the equation not the origin side downstairs upstairs we have to share means this again same position will got for the second equation this part we have to share and for the third equation x is equal to y when uh, this equation can be written as x minus y less than equal to 0 okay when we substitute this point line is crosses through the origin 0 minus 0 less than equal to 0 yes 0 is less than or equal to 0 so this is true uh, hence we have to shade this part for this equation x is equal to y upstairs we have to shade this is the common region shaded region the region visible region we want is this part we have to shade we got the visible region and i will name this one as a b c d okay now we have to find the corner point for this feasible region okay yeah. to find the corner point already we got the two one a and d co coordinates we got corner point for b and c we have to find to find this we have to solve the equation okay first two equation i will solve uh, the first equ second equation easily I will consider this one as x plus y is equal to 10 and the next equation for this x minus y is equal to 0 okay when we subtract when we add both the equation plus y minus y get cancelled x plus x 2x is equal to 10 then x is equal to we'll get 5 2 1s are 2 2 5s are 10 similarly x is equal to 5 y is equal to 5 will get okay when we substitute the value of x here in this equation y also will get 5 isn't it so the coordinate for the point b are 5 and 5 same we have to find the coordinate of c using the equation the first equation i will use that is x plus 3y is equal to 60 and the last equation x minus y is equal to 0 okay when we subtract both the equation the sign will change here plus x minus x get cancelled and 3y plus y 4y is equal to 60 then the value of y will become 4 ones are 4 and 2 remains 4 5s are 20 y equal to 15 we got okay then if we substitute we will substitute the value of 15 here and x value will get so y 15 x minus 15 equal to 0 x is equal to 15 the same value will get okay these are the coordinates of point c for point c we have the coordinate 15 comma 15 okay 
this the a b c d all four feasible region coordinates as we got we'll find will maximize or minimize uh, both value we have to find using the constraint z equal to 3x plus 9y in this equation we have to substitute all four corner points so the points are i will write here corner points for point a we have it is 0 and 10 Point A is zero and ten, and B as we got here for you and for you, both are same values of x and y. For C we got the points fifteen comma fifteen. For D we have the coordinate zero and twenty, zero comma twenty. Maximum minimum value we have to find here using the equation constant is z z equal to three x plus nine y. I will write here z equal to 3x plus 9y. This equation we are finding the value of constant. Okay, the value of x is zero, y is ten here. When we substitute this value, the first number which we are getting, 3 into zero plus 9 into 10. 3 into zero zero nine ten za 90 will get. So the value is 90. Here I will write minimum. And maximum solution. Okay. For the second one, when x is for you and y is for you in this equation, if we substitute the value of x as for you into plus nine into the value of y is also same. So three five is a fifteen plus nine five is a forty five. Fifteen plus forty five sixty will get the value of second coordinate for you and for you. Similarly, for c is equal to fifteen and fifteen. 3 into 15 plus 9 into 15. 15 a 45 plus 59 a 135. 135 plus 45 will become 180. Okay. For the last coordinate d equal to 0 and 20 x value is 0 and y value 20 as we substitute. So 3 into 0 plus 9 into 20. 3 into 0 will become 0. 2 nines are 18. It is 180. Again, we'll get. And in the question, they said find both the value, minimum as well as maximum values. So minimum means which is the smallest value we got here. The value is 60. So this is our minimum minimized solution. And the biggest number, two same values we got. These are the solution of maximum. maximum and minimum solution in this way we'll find for the equation and every time you are getting different equation to solve lpp program